Hi, welcome to NPA Teaching. In this video, we are going to discuss how to find the nth term in a geometric progression. As we are already discussed in the last video, geometric progression is a sequence where each new term after the first term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a constant known as common ratio. If we know the first term in a geometric progression, and the ratio between successive terms then we can work out the value of any terms in a geometric progression. If the first term of the sequence is A then the geometric progression is A, A R, A R square, A R cube where the nth term is A R raised to the power n minus 1. Now look at the general form of uh, geometric progression. Let us consider a geometric progression a1, a2, a3 up to an with first term is non-zero term a and a common ratio of r. So here the first term a1 is equal to of course it is a. Then the second term is obtained by multiplying the first term by the common ratio r. So second term is equal to a2 is equal to a1 into r which is equal to ar. Similarly, the third, third term is obtained by multiplying the second term by the common ratio again. So, the third term A3 is equal to A2 into R which is equal to A1R into R which is equal to A square. Fourth term is obtained by multiplying the third term by common ratio R. So, the A4 is equal to A3 into R which is equal to a 2 r square into r which is equal to a r cube. So therefore the pattern suggests that the nth term of a geometric progression which is equal to a r n minus 1. So the geometric progression is a series of a, a r, a r square, a r cube and so on up to a r raised to the power n minus 1. So the nth term of a geometric progression is given by a n that is the nth term of arithmetic progression is equal to a r raised to the power n minus 1 where a is the first term r is the common ratio and n minus 1 is the term position. So the nth term of a geometric progression is given by a r raised to the power n minus 1. Let us consider the given geometric sequence that is 10, 30, 90 and so on. Find the fourth and tenth term of this geometric progression. So here of course the first term a is equal to 10. The common ratio r is equal to which is the ratio of two consecutive terms. So it is a2 divided by a1 which is 30 divided by 10 which is equal to 3. So as it is a geometric progression so r is equal to 3. Then the nth term we want to find the fourth term and tenth term of a given sequence. So nth term is equal to a r raised to the power n minus 1. So the fourth term is equal to a which is 10 into r which is given that is 3 raised to the power n minus 1 which is here n is 4 so it is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 10 into 3 raised to the power 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 or cube which is equal to 10 into 3 cube is equal to 27. So 10 into 27 which is equal to 270. So the fourth term of this given sequence is 270. Similarly we want to find out the tenth term. So tenth term is equal to a r raised to the power n minus 1. So here a is equal to 10 and r is equal to 3. So 10 into 3 raised to the power n minus 1. So here n is 10. So 10 minus 1 which is equal to 10 into 3 raised to the power 10 minus 1 which is equal to 9. So 10 into 3 raised to the power 9 is equal to 19,683 which is equal to 10 into 19,683 is equal to 1,96,830. So the tenth term is equal to 1,96,830. Now we have the another example that is find the number of terms or n in the geometric progression given by 6, 12, 24 up to 1536. So here we want to find out the value of n. So write down the key terms given in the question. So here the 
a1 is equal to 6, a2 is equal to 12, a3 is equal to 24 and an which is equal to 1536. So of course the first term a is equal to 6. The common ratio that is r is equal to the ratio of two consecutive term that is a2 divided by a1. So here a2 divided by a1 is equal to 12 divided by 6 which is 2 and a n which is 1536. So of course we want to find out the n. So here the equation is applicable that is nth term is equal to a r raised to the power n minus 1. Then substitute the value of a1, a n and r in this given above equation that is a r n minus 1. So here it is 1536 is equal to 6 into 2 into raised to the power n minus 1. Then divide the both side of the equation by 6 then it will become 256 is equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1. Then change 256 to its exponential form whose base is r that is r is equal to here 2. So 256 can be rewrite as a 2 raised to the power 8 which is equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 1. So equating the indices since they both have the same base 8 is equal to n minus 1. So n is equal to 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9. Hence we can say that the 1536 is the 9th term of the given geometric progression. We have one more example that is in a given geometric progression the third term is 24 and the sixth term is 192. Find the tenth term. So in order to find the tenth term of a given sequence we want to get the first term and the common ratio that is r. But these two things are not given here. So we want to find the r and the first term a. As we have already given the third term that is 24. So third term a3 is equal to a r raised to the power n minus 1 that is n is equal to here it is 3. So 3 minus 1 which is equal to 24. So a r square is equal to 24. This is the first equation and similarly we have already given that is the sixth term which is equal to 192. So sixth term is equal to a r raised to the power 6 minus 1 as it is sixth term which is equal to 192. So a r raised to the 5 which is equal to 192 which is the second equation. So we have two equations are given that is a r square is equal to 24 a r raised to the power is equal to 192. So dividing the second equation by the first equation we will get r raised to the power 5 minus 5 minus 2 is equal to 192 divided by 24. So r cube is equal to 8. Then change 8 to its exponential form whose base is equal to 2. So r cube is equal to 2 cube. Therefore we have equate the indices since they both have the same base. So r is equal to 2. Since r is equal to 2, we can substitute the value of r is equal to 2 on any of the equation. For example, we are substituting r is equal to 2 on the equation 1. So equation 1 is equal to a r square is equal to 24. Substituting r is equal to 2, then a into 2 square is equal to 24, which is equal to 2 square is equal to 4. 4 into a is equal to 24. So a is equal to 24 divided by 4, which is equal to 6. Since we have the first term which is equal to 6 and the common ratio is equal to 2, we can find the tenth term of a given geometric progression which is equal to a r raised to the power n minus 1. So tenth term is equal to 6 into 2 raised to the power 10 minus 1 which is equal to 6 into 2 raised to the power 9. So 2 raised to the power 9 is equal to 512. So 6 into 512 is equal to 3072. So the tenth term of this given geometric progression is 3072. I hope you are clear about how to find the nth term of a geometric progression. In the next video we will discuss the sum of n terms of a geometric progression. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.